All right, y'all, I'm going to end this episode like I always do. Showing love and shouting out. And today I want to shout out at Nick Eden. That's his handle on Twitter. Okay. He also goes by uh, Hornet Hawley because he is an Alabama State man. Okay. I want to shout him out uh, for his excellent commentary on HBCU. It's absolutely marvelous. Okay. The brother is immaculate when it comes to this. His consistency, basically, if you don't know, okay, let's say you don't follow him, I'm sorry. Basically, every week he drops, like, what's been going on in HBCU Twitter, basically like a calendar. He takes you, like, Sunday through Saturday and what the fuck has gone down in HBCU Twitter. And it's immaculate, y'all. Uh, so not only is he keeping up with all the talk that's going on ab- amongst uh, the various fan bases, he also brilliantly uses his creativity to come up with like a, a little mini meme for each day to represent what the hell was going on. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. As somebody who is in this game, in the entertainment business, uh, I, I really got to big him up for that. You feel me? Because I know how it is to... Uh, try to be consistent, try to be dedicated and try to continuously uh, put out content that people fuck with, you know, to my, and with my mind, I don't even look at it as content anymore for real, for real. I try my best to call it what it is, a product. Okay. You're pushing a product. At least I, I don't know if he's a businessman or not, but I know I'm a businessman. So I consider this a product just like any other business would. Okay. But it just so happens that my mind is the factory, okay? And I got to come up with this shit and keep churning it, churning it, churning it out. Well, this king does the same thing, and it's excellent. So I think he deserves credit, okay? Uh, I'm looking at his current one. All right, this is one of his latest posts. that He said, well, since you uh, motherfuckers wouldn't let me uh, vacation, let's run down the shenanigans of HBCU Twitter this week. Okay, uh, he said we got to peek into Ed Reed's Christmas list. <laughs> hey, you, you, y'all go have to look at the image. <laughs> you got Ed Reed sitting on Santa's lap. <laughs> oh, god, he said, and I want Texas Southern and I want more house. <laughs> and oh, I won't fail you too. Okay, you got that. For, 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 well, last like Sunday. Then on Monday, okay, he has um, Fred McNair and Andre Johnson there with Texas Southern logo in the background. And Fred McNair is saying, I mean, it's just like it's both our job. <laughs> Andre Johnson, Andre Johnson, I guess, is Debo. <laughs> and Fred McNair, what, what was his name on Friday? Red. Oh my God, that is brilliant. Oh my fucking goodness, that is brilliant. Now, now, Tuesday, oh, he kind of threw a little jab at us at Jack State on the slick. Still talking about Texas Southern. But y'all know how Texas Southern, the board of regions on some bullshit, like they were going to goddamn go ahead and make a decision, then they postponed it. So uh, he got, who that, Fred, the white boy from, uh, well, all them white women, uh, the blonde character from Scooby-Doo, he got him unmasking uh, the evil duel, and he got a picture of the new Jack State president, okay, with IHL on it, okay. Uh, that's brilliant, too, though. All right, but you know, we 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 feel some type of way about that higher, you know, to my at Jack State University. Move on to Wednesday. He says St. Augs former coach Fagan said, run me my coins. Okay. Uh then he moved on to Thursday. He said Larry got some upset news in the studio, which Scotty broke to the internet Friday. Um talking about fam you and the Willis. <laughs> situation he said once fam you alums found out they put together those coins sold some fish 
some wigs, but hopefully not some meow meow. All right, all right, brother. But hopefully not some meow meow to make sure Willie stay that way. Get your shit together, brother. And I hope you watch this. Get your shit. You know what? I got to give you the treatment I be doing my brother. My brother Tim G. Jake when he be wilding out on here. You see the banner. Get it together over there. <laughs> he hope they didn't say on no meow meow. Yeah, I don't know what that might talk about. Okay. Oh, God. Man. I don't know, y'all. The man be doing a hell of a job. Now that the uh, the news has broken about Willie Simmons leaving, fam, you. Ain't no telling what this man finna put together. Because it's about to be a hell of a week on HBCU Twitter. But shout out. Shout out. Shout out to Nick Eden. I'm going to have to get that king on here for an interview one day. All right. Because he is hella talented. All right. But shout out to you, King. <laughs> Keep the shit coming. All right. And shout out to all y'all real ones out there. This has concluded episode 185 of the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Uh, 2023 was great for IG Entertainment. Uh, that's because of my hard work and because of you. Okay. So I thank God for you. Thank God for your support. Uh, I pray that God blesses you throughout 2024 and pray for you right now. And my prayer to God was simply this. God bless all the real ones. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all as always. One. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.